Hey, fam lamb, do you have some leftover chicken fingers that you do not know what to do with? Try out this buffalo chicken pizza. I'll show you how to make it. Let's go. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another video. This is going to be one of the quickest and easiest videos that I probably posted thus far. So I'll jump right into it. So here you have some leftover chicken fingers that I made last night. And what I'm about to do is take these fingers and we are going to make a buffalo chicken pizza. So quick, so easy, so simple. Watch this. So I got me some melted butter here for my wing sauce. I got me some Frank's Red Hot. I am going to put me some hot sauce in that melted butter. I'm going to add a little bit of granulated garlic. I'm going to add a little parsley to this. And I am also going to add some garlic Parmesan seasoning and we're going to give it a good whisk and there you have your wing sauce now let's set this to the side and I'm about to take my leftover fingers <clears throat> And I'm going to chop these bad boys up. Hope everyone out there is doing great today and staying safe. As always, I thank you guys for tuning in. Watching your girl. Okay. Now, you can leave these as big or, big or as small as you want. <clears throat> I'm going to put them into pieces like this here. Quickest, simplest recipe ever. It's not even a recipe. It's probably like a more like a how-to. If you don't know what to do with those leftover chicken fingers, try this. All right. Cut up one more. One more, one more. One more. I got my oven already heated up. Or excuse me, it is preheating. I have it on 415. Okay. Alright, so I think that is gonna be enough chicken. I'm telling this is so good, y'all. I don't know what kind of pizza. What's your favorite kind of pizza to order? When you order out for pizza, <clears throat> what's your go-to pizza? Comment down below. Let me know. Okay, I think that should be enough chicken cut up. Put that to the side, and we are going to swing back our wing sauce, and we are going to add our chicken in there. And then we're just going to simply toss it up toss it up. Add the rest of it in there. Give it a nice good toss. So all of your chicken pieces are nice and coated with that melted butter and that Frank's Red Hot. Okay. Oh yeah, that's looking good. So, I'm going to sit this to the side and I'm going to keep it right in that right in that sauce mixture because I want that chicken to just marinate all up in that hot sauce right there. Set that to the side and let's grab our P 
pizza crust here. And this is just simple store brought pizza crust. Nothing fancy. If you want to make your own pizza crust, feel free to do so. But this is supposed to be a quick, simple, hood gourmet, the easy way. This is the kind of crust I'm using here. All right, five minute crust. Okay, so now let's start building our pizza. So I'm gonna start with a base layer of my favorite blue cheese, Marie's Chunky Blue Cheese. So, add a dollop or two on both of the crust. Let's see if that's enough. Red. And just spread that around. Okay. Yep, that should be good enough. Because we're also going to top it with a little bit of blue cheese, so we really don't want to go ham on this part here. Because we're also going to add some ranch to the base. So when you bite into it, it's just going to be creamy, cheesy, and that's about that. Let's also spread this around. So it can be evenly distributed throughout. All right. Now, put that down. We are going to go in with some cheese. And what I'm choosing to lay down first is some, oops, I'm sorry, Monterey Jack cheese. So we're going to sprinkle a little bit of Monterey Jack. Monterey Jack. Mr. Jack. Okay. Just a bit. And now, let's bring back our beautiful chicken pieces. Make sure you guys got a good look. Zoom in a little bit. All right. Bringing our beautiful chicken pieces. And we're just going to distribute that. This chicken is uh, making my mouth water. Man, look good. All right. Okay. Let's hook up our other pizza. With some chicken. And you can add as much chicken as you like. Some people like extra meat. Some people like a little less meat. Okay. Make sure it's nice and evenly distributed. Because you want a bite of chicken in each piece. Okay. Ain't this so simple, y'all? This is so simple. You got some leftover chicken fingers. Make this. Okay. Let me just grab a napkin to wipe that hot sauce off. Okay. Now what we want to do is go in with some more cheese. And I'm going to go with an Italian blend this time. A little Italian, Italian cheese blend. And this has provolone, Parmesan, Asiago, Fontina, and Romano. Go in with some of that. And I know a lot of people don't like to use the bag cheese because it has like a coating on it that prevents it from melting perfectly. But that 
doesn't really bother me. My cheese comes out ooey gooey every time. Um, but if you want to get some fresh cheese for this, go right ahead, right ahead. And do you. We are doing a quick, quick hood gourmet how to in this video. Okay. Now what you want to go in with is some color and a little, this is also going to add some flavor. It's going to give it that nice Italian taste. And you want to go in with some Italian seasoning. Not a lot because this stuff is powerful. But it's going to give it that pizza taste that we are looking for when we bite into a pizza. And it's also going to give it a little color. So, okay, this is good here. This is good here. I'm also going to go in with some garlic um, parm seasoning on top of this. Just as um, same stuff I added to the crust. Because this is some good stuff. This is some good stuff. Okay, and lastly... I'm going in with a pizza blend, a pizza blend cheese right here. And this is a mixture of mozzarella and cheddar. Not a lot, because you don't want a soggy pizza. Okay, make sure you get them on the sides. And that's going to melt oh, and be so good. Okay, and we are going to top this off with parsley because parsley is good and it makes everything pretty. Pretty, pretty. Okay, so we are going to pop this in our preheated oven. Again, my oven is on 415. And we're going to leave this in here until the cheeses are melted down in an ooey gooey way. Then we're going to take our pizzas out. And we are going to garnish them. And here you go. This is before they go in the oven. Okay. And I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like when it's done baking. Okay, you guys. Here is the finished product. Fresh out of the oven. Piping hot. Buffalo chicken pizza. So now... What I'm about to do is garnish these bad boys up, and I am going to get my grub on. Smells good and looks great. And here you go, guys. Buffalo chicken pizza, all nice and garnished up. Beautiful, simple, yet delicious. And what I did to take the flavors up just a tad bit more, what I did is I garnished it with some sweet baby Ray's buffalo wing sauce. So that's what you see as the garnish. And of course, I tossed my chicken pieces in my favorite hot sauce which is Frank's Red Hot. So I used both just to elevate some flavors because you guys know I'm all about that flavor. But I hope you guys enjoyed this quick and simple video. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have not already, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos to come. And please don't forget to press on that notification bell so you can know when your girl posts each and every time. Love you guys so much. Again, thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed, fam.